What a piece of junk. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Toys in the Attic. I'm your host, Vic, and we're going to open up box number five. This box says Star Wars on it, but there's also a couple other things in here. So again, as collectors of toys, I hope you're interested in the things that are in this box other than Star Wars. And here we go. All right, here's some crazy stuff in this box. Where to start? I guess we'll start with this bag of pogs. So uh, pogs were popular back in the late 90s, and these look like an entire bag of Simpsons pogs. Next up, out of the box. I'm gonna pull this because it's bizarre. I found this at a thrift store, but it's a thermos. It's Happy Days. When I was a kid, I used to have a Happy Days lunchbox, and that's where this came from. And I want to say this is from 1976. Happy Days Thermos. And when you were in school, back in the day, you'd have your little thermos and you'd pour it into your cup. That's good drinking right there. Next out of the box is a Darth Vader sound effects helmet. I guess you could talk into the back of this thing and make it sound like Darth Vader. Oh, I bought it at Goodwill for a dollar. So I'm sure that I never used this. It was probably just her display. That's worth a buck. It's a good dollar. Next out of the box, this has nothing to do with collectibles whatsoever. It's my baseball trophy from Little League when I was a kid. <laughs> Strange thing to have in this box, but here it is. I was, uh, you know, a baseball kid. All right, next out of the box. Now, this is going way back to episode one when it was released on VHS. Wow, that sounds dated. And if you bought it exclusively from Toys R Us, you got a limited edition special hologram cover for your VHS tape. Now, I don't own that VHS tape anymore, but man, did I, I kept the cover. That thing is cool. So anybody who got their VHS tape from Toys R Us in the year 2000, whenever this came out, you got this cool cover. That's neat. I like it. Next up out of this box, again, my favorite character from this movie, Mr. Qui-Gon with lightsaber. And this looks like a 12 inch figure. And uh, it looks like there was four of them. It was this, Obi-Wan, Darth Maul, and Jar Jar Binks. I don't remember seeing the other two, but I did get this one, Qui-Gon. And I did pick up his Padawan, Obi-Wan. So those are, those are cool. There's a set, that's good looking large figures. Now, one of the things I liked from episode one in the toy line, and I had to have it, but I got it on clearance, was this here, episode one with Qui-Gon Jinn and the Opie Fish. This was a scene where they were underwater in their little Naboo vessel. Now what's funny on the box, they say exclusive Qui-Gon Jinn has articulated ankles for swimming, and it's got him with a giant spear attacking the Opie Fish. That was not in the movie. Why would they make a toy? Qui-Gon attacking the fish. Qui-Gon never left the vessel. In fact, there's always another bigger fish out there. There's always a bigger fish. Now you remember, and you remember the scene. You know what? Let's take a look at this. This was $23 back in 1999. I paid six bucks. Worth every penny of the six dollars. We're gonna take this guy out. And for all you inbox collectors who are like, oh my God, it's all mint and is it? You know what? Thank me. I just increased the value of yours. Now it's worth $7. <laughs> You're welcome. Here's a Qui-Gon and he's a good looking figure. And he comes with this giant sword that was not in the movie. Actually, that's not a good looking figure. He looks just like Jesus. <laughs> Wait till you see him. He looks just like Jesus. I'm gonna pull this guy out of the box. You're gonna be like, what? This is, I had no idea Jesus was in episode one. That's cool. There we go. Now for the Obi fish. It looks like I never took this out of the box. First time. Oh my God, it's now worthless. There we go. That's cool. I might just keep this around the house because it goes with all the other stuff I have. All right, so there was some assembly required, but look at this. Snapping jaw, where is he? There we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
That's a cool toy. Opie, I love this. Six bucks. <laughs> Unfortunately, that concludes the Star Wars portion of this box, but I do have some other gems in here, stuff I collected that I enjoyed. This is from the Yellow Submarine Collection, and I've got Mr. Ringo Starr here. Huge Beatles fan. I saw these same time. When did these come out? 1999. So there it was in 1999. I'm hunting down episode one figures. I run across Simpson stuff. I gotta have it. I run across these Beatles figures. I gotta have them. So I wanted the whole set. So here's Ringo. And Ringo Starr comes with the blue meanie. Next up out of the box, we have Mr. George Harrison. And he comes with the yellow sub. These are big meaty figures. And I was all about that. The bigger, the heavier they were, the more interested I was in them. Here's John Lennon, Yellow Submarine. Recently, I had the pleasure of interviewing one of my idols and rock legend, Mr. John Lennon. Here's a short excerpt from that interview. Roll cameras, please. John Lennon, what an honor it is to have you here on our program tonight. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Let me ask you, in 1966, you stopped touring with the Beatles. Can I ask why? Well, we always felt boxed in, caged in, drawn out. We couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't do a thing. I felt trapped. So when was it that you decided that you would join the Plastic Ono Band? I always had a strange attraction to plastic. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I always felt boxed in. You know, caged in. Drawn out. Trapped. You think you'd ever get together again with your old mates from the Beatles? I have to tell you, Adam. I don't think I'd get together with the old mates again. The Beatles are the Beatles. They're done. I couldn't join them again with the Fox. I certainly couldn't join them in this box. Speaking of box, check out the Beatles' new box set. Oobly doobly. And last, out of the box. Mr. Paul McCartney. All you need is love, baby. All you need is love. So, that concludes another episode of Toys in the Attic, box number five. Join us next week, where we're gonna go through more dignified junk and old antiques here on Toys in the Attic. May the force be with you, always. Ah! What a piece of junk. Warning, choking hazard, small parts. If you can get that in your mouth, God bless you.